problem isn't that you can't free yourself from the clutches of exam or practice. The main problem is that you are scared. Scared of having poor results in an exam. You lack confidence in your ability to achieve higher score on your own. Now, let me tell you how you can help yourself to stop examination malpractice as a student. 1. Read, read, and read over. I understand that you have probably been reading but haven't achieved good results. Hence, your reason for being here. But you need to realize that your method of reading may have been the reason you are not achieving the best results. Before reading, try having a thinking session about the topic. This will spare your curiosity on what the topic is all about, thereby driving you to invest yourself in reading. Reading this way will help you do better and decrease the edge to want to cheat in exams. You should make sure you are well prepared for the exams you are going to write. 2. Do not keep friends who cheat. If you are being honest with yourself, the reason you are engaging in more practice is that it is what your friends are doing. If they were absent in your life, the chances of you doing it on your own are low. Whenever there's an exam going on, stay away from your acquaintances who cheat. And if possible, cut off every relationship you have with them. Friends like that are not what you need to make changes. Having them in your life will only make you go back to your old habits. The solution you need is to keep away from those friends that keep dragging you into the path of more practice. 3. Pay attention. This can be one of the hardest things for a student to do. It's either a scene from a movie that keeps popping into your head, or you are daydreaming about a certain life you want for yourself in class. To fully understand when reading, paying attention in class is the key. Any student who pays attention and understands a topic will have no use for more practice. Do you have problems concentrating in class? Okay, let me show you what to do. 1. Make eye contact with the teacher. This will force you to listen to what he or she is saying. 2. Put away your phone. 3. Have enough sleep before the class. 4. Try participating in class discussions to get you invested in the happiness so that even when your focus tries slipping you off, the discussion group can draw back your attention. And then 5. Drink cold water from time to time in class to rejuvenate you. 4. Keep good friends. The power of peer pressure can't be overlooked. To change a habit, keep company with those who see it as immoral and bad. And with time, you will see yourself frowning at the idea of cheating. Do you want to be the best? Then work with the best. No matter how good a particular seed is, its growth is dependent on having good soil. Your kind of friends will either encourage or discourage you. So choose well. Once you have got some good friends, ensure you maintain them. The type of friends you keep has a way of influencing your lifestyle. If you work with people that are constantly unserious, you too may be negatively influenced, despite your efforts to change. 5. Don't see an exam as a do-or-die affair. See preparations as do-or-die before your exams, not the exam itself. See exams as a preparation for life beyond school. Life after the four walls of the classroom is another turbulent stage. You need to be as firm and decisive as possible before you begin to face real-life challenges. How you use your four or five years in school matters. This will tell if you will struggle with the time management and other skills required for you to be successful out there. 6. Know that values and good conscience are more precious than grades. You know the countless times you have decided to change for the better, but ended up with a statement like, this week is gone. <laughs> Let me pursue this goal next week. Having solutions to your academic problem is one thing. Having an interest in solving it is another thing. You can only be eager to resist partaking in exam smart practice when you know the harms it does to you. Overcoming the temptation of more practice make you become an outstanding personality. You will be able to believe in yourself better, defend your results anywhere, and also get access to scholarships abroad.
7. Sit in the first row always. If you know you don't want anyone to ask you questions or distract you, you should sit in the first row to deter anyone from speaking to you. This could even motivate you to study every day. There's no doubt you will have all the time to yourself in this session of the hall. Although students sitting in the front row might still communicate, but the distraction is always less in front. Whatever sitting positions you have always used while writing exams or tests, I advise that you change it now to sit in the front row. How can you think of quitting when you are in the safe zone where no one can catch you cheating? 8. It is more honorable to be an honest average student. Yes, it is better to be an original average student than to be a fake excellent student. What gives you the assurance that what you are copying from another student is even the right thing? Think about having some time in prison for something that could have been avoided. So, try to do the best you can in avoiding more practices. In whatever capacity where you are faced with an examination, make up your mind never to succeed through unhealthy means. There's always a right way to achieve your academic goals. 9. You need great discipline. Self-discipline entails preparing yourself adequately. Read your notes, test books, solve past questions, mingle with the best students in your class, and get close to your teachers. 10. Think about the efforts of your sponsors. A very important reason to desist from examination more practice is the shame you bring to yourself and your sponsors if caught. Think about how you would speak to them when you are called upon to explain why you have been expelled from school. They must have spent a lot trying to keep you in school and getting you educated. Don't shatter their plans for you by becoming a school dropout due to expulsion. Stay glued to Joy Learning TV and enjoy more episodes on how to avoid examination more practice with your favorite coach Tina. Do well to follow us on all our social media platforms. Till I see you again, peace out.